The City of Love has so much to offer for all kinds of travelers. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the top places to visit when visiting Paris. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the top places to see when visiting Paris. Number 10. Montmartre. Montmartre is a lovely hillside area in Paris with spectacular views. It was a popular hangout for world-famous artists who worked and resided in and around Montmartre. The lovely streets and ambience of Montmartre inspired artists such as Picasso and Van Gogh. Painters and other artists are still working on their next piece of art today. The iconic Sacre Cœur Basilica, an important political and cultural monument as well as an architectural marvel, is located at the top of the hill. The Church of St. Pierre is right next door as are the charming tiny vineyards near the museum at the bottom of the hill. The historic birthplace of French Cancan dance, the Moulin Rouge, is located there. The Moulin Rouge is currently a renowned tourist destination with musical dance shows. Number 9. Notre Dame Notre Dame de Paris, or Our Lady of Paris, is a famous medieval Gothic cathedral located on the Isle de la Cite, a small island in the heart of Paris. The cathedral is brimming with Gothic themes and architectural flourishes. Notre Dame was substantially built in the 13th century and was extensively damaged during the French Revolution before being saved from destruction by Napoleon, who used the cathedral to crown himself French emperor. The narrative of Victor Hugo's Hunchback of Notre Dame has made the cathedral famous. The neighboring conciergerie, a former medieval royal mansion that served as a jail during the French Revolution, is a must-see. It was also the last prison to house Marie Antoinette and is now largely used for long courts. You can walk around the island and experience what life was like in Paris hundreds of years ago while admiring the lovely original streets. Number 8. Catacombs of Paris The Catacombs of Paris, a shadowland of underground tunnels and galleries beneath busy Parisian streets, reveal the spectacular underground Paris. The Catacombs are an underground tube network of ancient stone mines where the remains of over 6 million people were transported to lessen the expanding number of cemeteries in Paris during the 18th century. While walking down the tunnel, you'll notice the names of the original cemetery locations from which the bones were relocated, as well as the side of the streets you're under. Number 7. Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is one of the most well-known and well-visited paid monuments in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the tallest structure in Paris, standing at 1,063 feet tall, including the tip. It was built in 1889 as the entry to the 1889 World's Fair by a firm owned by engineer Gustave Eiffel and was initially planned to be dismantled thereafter. Many well-known Parisian painters were initially critical of it. The tower has three stories, and if you don't want to take the elevator, you can climb the 674 stairs to the second one. Did you know that at the top of the Eiffel Tower there is a modest concealed apartment? It was built by Eiffel for himself as well as to entertain those interested in science, such as Thomas Edison. Number 6. Museums Over 100 museums may be found in Paris. The Louvre, the world's largest art museum, is the most well-known museum in Paris, with permanent exhibitions of the world's most famous painters, including Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. You can begin your journey by passing through a stunning glass pyramid. It is a complex of buildings and monuments dedicated to France's military history, including Napoleon's grave. The largest museum of modern art in Europe is housed at the Pompidou Center, which was designed in the manner of high-tech architecture. The neighboring Stravinsky Fountain is a must-see. It features a great collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings and is housed in a former railway station. Number 5. Champs-Élysées The Champs-Élysées, which runs through the heart of Paris, is one of the most well-known avenues in the world. It has a lot of high-end stores, theaters, and cafes. The annual Bastille Day military parade takes place on Champs-Élysées, which also serves as the finish line for the Tour de France cycling race. 
Before it became a fashionable avenue in the late 1800s, the area was largely filled by fields and gardens on the west side ends, which Napoleon commissioned in 1806 and dedicated in 1836 to the revolution and empire's forces. The burial of an unknown soldier was erected beneath the arch in 1921. Number 4. Parks and Gardens Beautiful city parks and gardens abound in Paris, where we may walk, exercise, read a book, or simply soak up the ambience and get a feel for the Parisian way of life. The Tuileries Garden, located directly adjacent to the Louvre Museum and once a favorite meeting area for Parisians in the 19th and 20th centuries, is one of the best. The Luxembourg Gardens were first established in 1612 as the Garden of the Luxembourg Palace, which is currently the French Senate seat. The city's main public park, Bois de Vincennes, includes lakes, gardens, a zoo, a botanical garden, a castle, and other attractions. Number 3. Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. It is the largest cemetery in Paris and is said to be the most visited cemetery in the world. It was founded in 1804. Many world-famous people are buried in the cemetery, including Jim Morrison, Edith Piaf, Balzac, and Oscar Wilde. Take a stroll through the many streets of this sprawling 100-acre cemetery, which is home to Gothic graves, burial chambers, and mausoleums. There are 70,000 burial plots in the cemetery. Number 2. La Defense Business District Many of Paris's tallest skyscrapers and a big retail mall with numerous restaurants and movie theaters make up Europe's largest business district. Le Grand Archie, a 364-foot, tall cubicle high-rise that mimics the design of the Arc de Triomphe, is a remarkable modern architectural marvel. You may go up to the observation deck and see how the structure is exactly aligned with the Arc de Triomphe, which is nearly two miles away in the heart of Paris. Number 1. Versailles From 1682 until the outbreak of the French Revolution in 1789, the monarch of France resided at Versailles, an opulent royal house. The Chateau de Versailles is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located about 12 miles from the center of Paris. The tour provides a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle enjoyed by French nobility prior to the French Revolution. Take a tour of Versailles' royal halls of mirrors, royal residences, royal opera, and huge gardens. The history of Versailles did not end with the French Revolution. It is also part of the Paris Peace Treaty, which recognized the independence of the United States, and the Treaty of Versailles, which formally ended World War I. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.